Hello and welcome back to another Warcraft video. So today we're going to be having a look at the new human male model. This is an update that I think a lot of people have definitely been waiting for. Now this is actually a paladin that I had. I've taken the armor off because, well, we're here to look at the model. I will armor it later to see how the animations play with a fully armored character. But anyway, this is what the base model looks like. I think what you're going to notice, first of all, is muscles! Muscle definition. Lots of muscle definition. Um, yeah, the old human male was also ridiculously muscly, but this one just benefits from having all of that being detailed. So, there you go. Let's have a look at the face. So, on the facial front, the actual face itself does look pretty good, and I will show you character creation in a bit. One thing that I do think, though, is some of the, like, the moustache and stuff is just very much bolted on looking. I don't know how they would make that look better, but perhaps there might be a way. In terms of other things, here's the run cycle. Now, I actually think it's a really, really good animation because it conveys the kind of bulk of the human male, but it also conveys the sort of, I guess, bounciness because the character's supposed to be so strong in terms of, like, you know, leg muscles and shit. It just looks like there's a lot of, there's, like, a lot of dude being thrown around here, you know? So that totally does work. Now, I'm going to show you one cool little thing, and we'll see how this directly translates over. There's a checkbox here for the new models. So, here we go, new model, and let's switch that back to the old one. Quite the difference, isn't it? <laughs> really, really is quite the difference, so let's actually just go back, because you know what, the old model's not that great. And here's the old model's run cycle, by the way. So, yep, from this to this. That's a really bad door, they should update that door. Um, yeah, so here's the barbershop. I'll show you some of the various options here. I think there are some things that are only there at the character creation screen, so... I will whirl around to that in a bit. Anyway, so, hairstyles. Because, of course, there are some hairstyles that are only available. We'll just go very much. Can we go completely to one side and then stop? No, okay, well, go through these slowly then. Gotta say that some of these don't work as, as well. For, I don't know. I'm not convinced by some things. I don't think that moustache really works. Um, I think it's because normally, like, not every moustache is so... Like, that looks like a solid mass that was just stuck on, you know? Um, yeah, kind of like a, a bizarre chocolate bar that was, was bolted onto his face. By the way, the anime hair is still there, it's still looking good. That's had an update as well. And, uh, yeah, just, you know, going over them. There's the XCOM hair. Uh, yeah, there's all your, your hair things. Let's go and whirl around the facial hair options. Now, this is one thing you'll definitely notice. Um, look... I don't know, I don't, uh, ah, this, I know it's not supposed to look realistic, and it is supposed to be stylized, but I'm just not convinced by that, I'll say that much, I just don't, I'm not convinced by a few of these. Um, again, like, that's pretty cool, but it just looks so bolted on, and it looks too much like a solid mass, and, yeah, in comparison to, say, the dwarf beards, for some reason this just doesn't seem to work as well, so, there you go, that's the current stuff. Over I thought they were, like, actual severed heads for a second there. Um, no, so overall, I think it's certainly a very good update. The human male absolutely needed to be updated. We'll, um, I'll just put some of this armor on. Um, just to show you, actually, that when you're fully armored up, it really does convey the kind of bulk of your character. Both in terms of the armor being bulky, but also just, like, the weight of everything. The guy does feel like a walking tank, and that's, I suppose, certainly what you want. Okay, so let's have a look at some of the animations. Now, first of all, we're going to start with the dance, because obviously that's the thing you have to start with. I think what you really notice is the, um, just the facial expressions and all the little... <laughs> yeah, all the little, um, sort of expressions that he's making. Yeah, that totally works really well. So, again, awesome. It's... I, I think, you know, it's not the upgraded textures and things that really get me with some of these models. It's just the, the fact that they do end up just conveying a bit more emotion and stuff like that. I think it does it does work out quite well. So next, going to beg. So, there you go. That's what it looks like when he begs. We can also... What can we do? Uh, we can cheer. Outstanding. Outstanding indeed. We can do the exclaiming one. We can do the question. Some general speak. I think the, the machinima people are really going to just have a lot of fun with some of these new... Um, just new animations and stuff. It's going to be pretty great. Um, so, yep, very cool stuff. Overall, I'm happy. I think this is a very good update. And well done, Blizzard. So, let's whirl over to the character creation.
Okay then, so here we are at the character creation. One nice thing about this is I'll be able to show you what the human male looks like in various different um, sets of armor with the new model. So, there you go. It honestly looks pretty good. I still, there's, there's something about like human males and robe classes that just, I don't know, it, it's, I think it's just the ultra wide shoulders or something. It doesn't seem to, uh, seem to come off as well for me, but still, you know, all looking very good. Let's go in a little bit more. We can, well, first we'll just randomize a few various human males to see what things look like. Um, we'll use this guy as a base though. So skin colors are, you know, just your kind of random general affair. So there you go. Now next, uh, let's have a look at the faces. Actually, before we do the faces, I'm just going to strip away the facial hair so that you can actually see things. I know that a lot of people have been concerned over facial differences, so let's have a look. By the way, I just think one or two of these faces look a bit kind of herder, you know, they're kind of derpy looking. I can't exactly nail what it is that, that causes that, but some of them do look a little bit derpy. And also, I don't know why, but the eyes look too small for this. Um, it's probably just me being silly, though. Anyway, yeah, I'm not convinced by some of the faces. Some of them do look a little bit derpy. Um, that's that's just that, I suppose. Whatever. Still, from a distance, I think it's totally cool. So it's not really a ginormous concern, I guess. All right, next, here's our hairstyles as seen in the character creation. So no anime hair here, unfortunately. Next, for the hair colors, I believe they are pretty much all just the same. Uh, for facial hair, then... Uh, you know what, we'll go to brown for our beards. So yeah, here's some more of our facial hair. Again, some of this just doesn't do it for me, you know? Um, can't, can't exact, like this, I just, I can't put my finger on it, but I think it's like the opacity is way too high on this. You know, because when you actually see men with stubble or, you know, his beard or something, it's not this, like, it's not, like, pitch black, like you, I know, sell the tape to a bit of black plastic to, um, you know, to yourself and then just put some sticky tape on it and some hair. That was a terrible analogy. That was a terrible analogy, but you know what I mean? It's just the opacity seems a little bit strange to me. So, yeah, that's what's going on. Anyway, on the whole, I think it's a great model. I am very happy with the um, animations and stuff, which is all pretty cool. So, overall, very much uh, well done, Blizzard. Let me know what you think about this model in the comments. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.